29 years old and stands 180 centimeters tall. His official weight, 80 kilograms, with a professional record of 21 wins and 7 losses. Representing Romania, this is Flavio! Fighting out of the red corner, he's 25 years old and stands 178 centimeters tall. His official weight, 77 kilograms. His professional record, eight wins and zero losses. Representing Romania, I give to you Flavius Buichuk and uh, Edward Gafenku for uh, this fight, uh, 81 kilo division. Edward Gafenku is the champion, but uh, he's not the fight for the title. Judge, judge, time. I think in this evening, everybody is with Gafenku. <laughs> well, this is going to be a very intriguing matchup here. Boychuk has proven in the past that he does have what it takes to beat a power puncher like Gafenku when he defeated uh, Lambaju at Rise of the Scorpions. However, Gafenku has proven time and time again that when he gets you right where he wants you, then it is not good news for his opponent. He has some serious, serious KO power that has to be taken seriously. A very powerful uh, right hand from uh, Gafenku. Low kick. I was talking to Boychuk before the matchup. He says he has his game plan, and it's just a matter of executing it here. He knows what he needs to do. Seemed confident. Gafenku, in addition to winning the 81 kilogram championship tournament at the last event, has also uh, won a professional boxing match not too long ago in November, where he also KO'd his opponent out cold. Yeah, he was fighting in his own city in Arad at that time. His opponent was from Serbia. Oh, Stop. high kick. And Gafenku hit the canvas Fight. hard on his hip on the way down. Hands up uh, for Boychuk. Waiting uh, his opponent. Good right hand uh, for uh, Gafenku. That's what Boychuk needs to do. He needs to move that head. He can't just afford to stand in front of Gafenku. Gafenku too, he's, he's got that momentum going. He's got the confidence, he's undefeated in kickboxing, he's undefeated in boxing. He's been knocking people out left and right. He's gotta feel great coming into this matchup. Now this one at 81 kilos where Gafenku won the title. This is a non-title matchup, but uh, Boychuk has bounced around in weight divisions. I've seen him fight at 75, 78. This is his highest weight at 81. Hello. With a stern warning there. And look at this, Gafenku. <laughs> He's furious now. Like a wounded animal now. Just going right after his opponent. I believe the 10 second hammer just went down. Yeah, last uh, five seconds. And the end of a very turbulent round number one. Well, Gafenku is going to have another 60 seconds here to try to pull himself together. I don't know how anyone could after that, but he'll do his best. Daniel Gita and Ernesto Hust in the house here. Special guests. 
Valentin, there's been a lot of, uh, of uh, talk on the internet between uh, a potential fight between Gita and Morishano. Do you have any details on if that's ever going to yeah. happen or where? It, it's like this uh, Morishano, now he have his own show in, in Romania and uh, he want to fight only on his show. Right. But Daniel Gita says like this, okay, I'll we'll fight against you, but in, on a neutral show. Right. Yeah. With foreign uh, uh, referees and judges. Well, we'll have to keep an eye on that situation. Maybe we'll get a word from Gita later, but right now we've got action inside the ring. Stop. And this time, it's Boychuk who hits the canvas. It's coming close now, uh, Gafenku. Right. Nice. nice. Wow. I see, yeah. And unloading now. Boychuk right. still moving a lot right. in the corner, which would be to his advantage. He's got to avoid the power of Gafenku. Whatever's left of it after that low blow. Boychuk backing up, keeping his arms out, trying to keep that distance, using the whole ring. Looks like he's got some blood coming out of the bridge of the nose. Could have been from a knee. There's another one. Right. Kafeku is coming forward. Another right hand, left. Boychuk looks like he's hurt when he's, he's either just desperately trying to avoid being hit or he's Stop. hurt and out comes the mouth guard of Gafenku. There you can see the blood. It's a cut right on the top of the bridge of the nose of Boychuk. Boychuk in that southpaw stance. Moving to his right. Left hand down the middle. And another one. Up against the ropes now. That's what he's got to avoid. Good left kicks in return. Another good left kick. It's coming forward now, Gafenku. He's uh, trying to put his opponent down because uh, his shots are very, very powerful. Another right from Gafenku. Left and right. Stop. Out comes the mouth guard again. Well, I think what's happened here, it's partially because of the low blow and partially with just what's been happening during the fight is uh, what? Gafenku has not really gotten into a rhythm here. And that's an important thing to do if you're Boychuk is just kind of interrupt the momentum of Gafenku because once he gets going, he really oh. gets going. One, two, good for uh, Boychuk. High kick now. Boychuk using a lot of movement, blocking, making things. Stop ugly in there but so far pretty effective in uh his style and also in avoiding the punishing offense of edward gafenku let's take another look at it there was a severe low blow that happened and a severe knee that also happened that may have been the one that split him open look at that shot can see the way he puts his whole body weight into everything he does. A lot of guys will just throw an arm punch. Gafenko puts every ounce of energy and momentum and torque and body weight into his blows. That's what that's how he's able to get so much power. So another bizarre matchup here so far through two rounds and one left to go. Round three coming up. Boychuk strikes first in round three, moving to his right. Mr. 
kick. Low kick for Gafeko also. Another low kick. These guys really dropping some bombs here in this final round. Both men just standing there staring at each other, almost like two lions ready to pounce on each other. Cracking kick taken again across the arms. A lot of those body kicks by Boychuk are not landing cleanly on the body of Gafenku, but across the arms. So it makes you wonder if they're going to be scoring those power shots or not. Right hand by Gafenko. Didn't have all of the salami behind it, but it certainly packed a powerful punch nonetheless. Even a shot at half speed by Gafenku is a lot more powerful than a normal fighter. Oh, Look at kick. this head kick. Nice little move there. Good movement from Boychuk. This is a close fight here. It's the style uh, and, and the points that are adding up in favor of Boychuk against the big power bombs of Gafenko. Gafenko on the attack. Big kicks again. coming in. Now Gafenko has shown us his hands in previous fights here, but I think he's really showing off his kicks in this matchup. A little bit off balance there was Gafenko. Back in center ring now. And you'd have to think too, uh, Valentin, that if Boychuk should win this matchup, he should be the first one in line for a title fight yeah. at 81 kilos. The first challenger. Look at this exchange. Oh, wow. uppercut. Good left. Boychuk teeing off now. Make it. And Boychuk is coming forward. Left to the body. Left uppercut. One of those shots was on the belt line. Oh, my. Good left one. Big Another. left to the temple. Left to the body again. A digging shot to the body. These two going toe to toe oh. to the very end. Oh. What a nice final in this contest between uh, Gafenku and Boychuk. We have to see who, which is the winner after three rounds of action. Mid kicks from both of the fighters. Left hook and then uh, high kick for uh, Gafenku, right to the body. Good knee for Boychuk. Thank you. 